interviewed me last Sunday. Uh, yeah, I, yes, but these are not uh, from the Senate. Uh, these are external to the uh, uh, media people uh, assigned or uh, accredited to the Senate. Evidently, they knew that you were coming to my office to deliver this. Uh, yes. uh, why did you bring them along with you? Because you wanted to be sure that it will be publicized that you deliver this document to the impeachment court through its presiding officer. Uh, no. this, I'm ordering you to show cause why you should not be cited for contempt by this impeachment court. You are trying to influence this court by bringing these documents. I did not open it. I did not read it. Because it's a very, it's a, I do not know what these documents are. But ah. uh, I felt insulted and offended as a presiding officer of this court, and I'm ordering you to show cause why you should not be cited for contempt. Now, you may use this uh, document I, if you want to open it. I don't and, want uh, to open it as well, Your Honor. I'll just ask him to open it. All right. Uh, you, you give it to the, to the, but return it to this uh, presiding officer afterwards. Yes, Your Honor, I will uh, instruct the witness to do that. Uh, Mr. Presiding Officer, may I speak? Yes. Uh, you may, uh, you may present it to the, to the uh, gentleman from uh, San Juan. I, I think he wants to see them first. Uh. Uh, Mr. Presiding that Officer, please be allowed to open it first. Do not uh, open them, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Witness. Can you open the envelope first? Uh, let the record show that the witness opened the sealed envelope coming from the Honorable Senate President. Mr. Presiding Officer, may I speak? Uh, I would like to first uh, express my sincere apologies if you felt uh, insulted, and I really, really, f I did not really min min uh, intend any no, no, malice. No, I have already issued an order to you. Show cause why you should not be cited by this court. Okay. Uh, I'm, I, again, I express my sincerest apologies, Your Honor. Mr. Witness, now that the uh, cat is out of the bag. Can you confirm whether the uh, whether the font of the transaction records contained in your letter are the same for all the banks? We we object uh, we object your order. I, we don't see any materiality to knowing whether the fonts are the same. Let, uh, let the witness answer. Uh, I, in I, fact, your honor, let me point out the materiality. The materiality here, your honor, is that. It's highly improbable that different banks will be using the same font for all documents. And so, we are trying to establish that these documents are fabricated, falsified, and fraudulent. Whoever is in the possession of falsified, fraudulent documents, as pointed out by the Honorable Senator Santiago, are presumed, is presumed by law, by the rules, to be the author. That's a manifestation of counsel, Your Honor. But, uh, yes, the but the question, the question here now is, can he confirm if the font size and font design of uh, the transaction I, uh, records are the same? Counsel, with your permission, yes, may sir. I ask you, is the Mr. Witness, to read your covering letter to the, uh, to the presiding officer? Read it aloud for the record. Um, May 7, 2012. Honorable Juan Ponce Enrile, Senate President, Republic of the Philippines. Dear Sir, greetings of peace. I am Harvey Eske, a private citizen, and I would like to formally submit these documents I have received anonymously last May 3, 2012 to your good office. I am not sure about the authenticity of these documents, and thus I am submitting them to your office for your perusal. 
Should you have further, for any further inquiries, please get in touch with me with my number. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, sincerely, Harvey Eske. All right. Wait a minute, Mr. Witness. You earlier testified when I asked you that you do not have the copy of the transmission that you gave to the Senate President. This the, sta is the statement pertains to the documents, not to the transmitted letter, Your Honor. Do you confirm that? Yes. The, the transaction, the attachments are not with you? Yes. All right. So let me just show to you again the uh, attachments and answer the question once and for all. The witness going over the documents. Same, is it not? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Yeah, we're all the same. All right. You, are you an employee of any of these banks? No, Your Honor. So you, you cannot guarantee the accuracy of any of the accounts or the entries mentioned in those documents, is it not? Already answered, Your Honor. Uh -huh. What was his answer? Sustained. Sustained. He said so in this recovery letter. In other words, Mr. K, gawa-gawa mo lang itong mga dokumentong to, is it not? Objection, Your Honor, that's a misleading statement. There is no... Sustained. No. We are assuming that uh, uh, he, he made all those documents and that... Uh, Let me ask him directly, Your Honor. Are you the one who prepared these documents? No, Your Honor. You're not the one, but at least you're aware that these documents, according to your letter, are unreliable and are products merely of... The answer of the, the witness and the covering letter says he's not sure of the authenticity. He did not say unreliable. So please reform your question. If you cannot guarantee the authenticity of these documents... Why did you send these documents to the uh, Senate President? Uh, because I did not know what to do with the documents when I received it. And I felt that the Senate President uh, and the Senate uh, as an impeachment court would be the uh, best uh, people to, do, to decide on what to do with these uh, said documents. Why did you not consult your lawyers before giving it to the Senate impeachment court? Uh, on, on hindsight, uh, that would have been uh, uh, the best course. However, as I said, I received this anonymously last Thursday morning. Uh, and then um, we decided uh, 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 when I consulted my colleague uh, in, uh, when we went to our retreat uh, during the weekend that it would be best to be given to the Senate. And that is why the first session day, uh, of the Senate. I already forwarded it to the Office of the Senate President, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Witness. That Those will be uh, uh, the end of my questioning. That will be the end of my questioning on uh, direct impeachment. Please uh, return the, the document to, to the presiding officer. No cross, Your Honor. Your Honor, may we request that the, uh, the letter and the attachments thereto be marked as prosecute uh, as defense evidence uh, globally as two five six. Mark them accordingly. Mr. President. The majority floor leader. In as much as there is no cross, uh, may we recognize Senator Miriam Defense of Santiago. The lady senator from Iloilo is recognized. Thank you. Mr. Witness, under the rules of evidence, a witness is a person who perceives 
meaning to say through his five senses, and perceiving can make known his perception to others. That is the minimum requirement for a witness, that you were personally present, and so with some at least of your five senses, what was taking place at the scene of the crime. Therefore, the requirement is that you must be an eye witness or an ear witness or whatever sense. What